Hey guys, I'm sure coming at you today in Clash Royale. Welcome to the video, guys. I'm glad to have you here talking a little bit of Clash with yours truly. Today, the top five decks for March here. I'm a little bit late on this video. But the first five decks so far in March for ladder gameplay. You guys are going to enjoy these decks. Uh, first, I have a serious note for you guys. Uh, I, I mentioned this on my other YouTube channel as well, but I lost my brother seven years ago uh, from a week from today, and not a day goes by where I don't where I don't miss him. You know, obviously, you know. And those of you who have gone through loss in your life, you know that things never never change, right? You have this like this line of demarcation in your life where, uh, you know, things are just never the same. You know, you you know what is the old adage or whatever is is like time heals all wounds, but it, it certainly doesn't for me. You know, and I'm sure a lot of people who have lost someone close to them. Uh, they, they can resonate with that feeling. I say all that to say that it is also Di National Disabilities Awareness, Awareness Month, excuse me. And if you guys could find it in your heart, and my brother was autistic, and I was like a, a, a big brother, and I kind of was like also a, in some ways, a parental figure to him, you know, uh, helped him out a lot, you know, through his life journey and uh, w would love if you guys could make a small donation, if you can afford to uh, even spreading the word and, and maybe doing something nice for somebody in your life who has a family member or a friend or maybe the individual themselves with an intellectual, developmental or even a physical uh, handicap or disability. So I uh, wanted to say that I hate to, to drown on here in the beginning of the video going, uh, you know, a uh, Clash Royale video going from this to an advertisement, but I had to get it out today. So I'm going to go ahead and play the ad for you guys, and then we're going to get into the decks. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there, and I'll uh, see you in just a minute on the flip side. But first, today's video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, guys. Raid Shadow Legends, where I up wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh, it's the fourth anniversary ultimate death knight in death knight. Happy fourth anniversary, Raid Shadow Legends. As I was saying, I love this game so much that I upload every single day on my second YouTube channel, Ash Raid Shadow Legends. Almost four years strong, guys. I got plenty of beginner content. Go ahead and join me there. And yes, it is the fourth anniversary of Raid Shadow Legends. You know what I want to do, guys? I want to take a look back at some of the good times that me and my starting champion, Kale, had. Take a look. Happy memories. Here we go. We get oh, uh, outside a dungeon. Uh, this is the first time we summoned him. Fighting the boss, our first dragon, receiving a gift, stay buddy for life. Oh, I can't believe this is so cute that he made me this, seriously. And then Supreme, Supreme, it seems like we might be having a new Kale coming to the party soon for this anniversary. We know that there's actually going to be a legendary anniversary event coming where we can summon a special Void Legendary Fragment Summon Champion. Maybe it's one of those starters. Now on top of that anniversary themed Legendary Champion, we'll have promo codes, we'll have special events, we'll have dedicated offers and free gifts, and more all celebrating Raid Shadow Legends 4th anniversary, guys. Join me. Oh, and Amazon Prime subscribers, make sure you log in to claim your copy of Genbo the Dishonored, an incredible epic nuker, and a bunch of savage gear to put on him. Genbo is an amazing champion, guys. I just want to flag this for you. He's worth checking out, especially if you're an Amazon Prime user, one of the, my favorite arena nukers in the game. Now, guys, I have a very special bonus for you today. All you have to do is click on this inbox up here, and bada bing, you'll receive your rewards. And we have four energy refills, four magic potions, four XP brew and Kellen the Shrike. Kellen the Shrike is a brand new epic champion. He looks really, really cool. As a matter of fact, my artist just sent me a DM about this champion. Go ahead, let's take a look at him in game really quickly here. He's a brand new Sylvan Watchers champion. Here he is. This will be yours. It comes about a half an hour after you click on the QR code and download the game or use my download link in the description below. Guys, this is good for 30 days, so go ahead and act now and see me in game and on my second YouTube channel, Ash Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, thank you so much for being patient with the long intro in today's video. Guess what deck number five is right now on ladder in terms of win percentages? That's right, it's the deck that I am running all year. It's Golem, and a lot of you guys are joining in the Golem action with me which is super super cool uh you guys have been tweeting me leaving comments approaching me in public talking about golem decks i like it i like it uh tony lb legends what's up my man uh so let's see how we can do here guys uh how are you all doing i'm doing fantastic personally uh what's going on my, my, my son got his progress report uh yesterday and he's doing he's a big boy he's a big boy kindergarten is only a few months away uh funny how time goes by it is uh 
yeah, it's 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 a blast, man. It's a blast. We have our little YouTube channel that I'm keeping secret. At least I don't want to promote it because it's not about views and stuff like that. It's about doing something that we like doing together. So he doesn't talk or anything in it or, you know, you can't see him. But it's like him playing with his toys and stuff like that, which he had his first viral video, like 40,000 views, man. It's, it's pretty nuts. And it's, uh, I don't know. It's really, it's really cool. So I got that going on. Uh, man, my, my life is kind of... It's great, but not a lot going on either, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm playing against Giant Skeleton here. I can't believe I've been doing this, this meaning YouTube, for, uh, for like nine years. <laughs> almost a 10 year anniversary here. N not almost, but eventually it'll be 10 years, and that's, that's absolutely nuts. Uh, anyway, he might magic archer me at the, at the bridge here. I don't know what exactly he's playing, but... He just goes with a battle ram and back against my DP, so that's totally cool. Now he might give me an activation here off of this, uh... Nope. I stand corrected. Alright, let's see. He's gonna get some serious damage. That was a beautiful minor on his part, I have to say. I'm actually gonna pull this, uh... This ram rider back. Just try to mitigate the loss a little bit here. I'm one card away from pumps, so I'm still like where I am right now. Uh... I do wonder if this dude is rocking a... Okay, he's, uh, I forgot he had Giant Skeleton. I was gonna say eh, Pekka. I'm gonna give him the Elixir value on the lane that he's going for, because I haven't seen a spell out of this dude yet. I don't know if he has one. Now that he hasn't used it. I'm just gonna go with the E-Drag. I don't want to be losing all my Elixir here. That was a bad job by me, letting that giant skeleton get to the tower. We're setting up a push in the back, but, uh, got a work cut out for us here. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and NATO. We do catch the miner as well. And now we can go on some offense here. And we kind of got lucky, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna win this one, but, uh, yeah. It's, uh, we lucked out. So we're gonna actually just go with a, a rare defensive pump here, <laughs> just to bite us some time, right? And then we can just NATO everything away and walk away with the, uh, the victory, albeit, uh, it was way too close for comfort. Let's be real here, okay? The, the good old defensive elixir. I remember back in the day, I don't know if any of you were, were playing back when the uh, the beginning of Clash Royale. You know how you can tell someone's a super OG, by the way, guys? Get out of here. Um, you can see the, see my, my hashtag? It's only uh, five, five characters. That's how you can tell, like, the original accounts were only five characters. Anyway, this is the next deck, guys. Uh, it's, we got Graveyard. And, uh, Freeze. I played Graveyard all year last year. And I didn't run very many, very many Freeze variants. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what my man Diego from the Nerd Brotherhood. Yo, what's up, man? Can I join? I got all the qualifications, man. I know all the Clash Royale pickup lines. I got, uh, I play video games for a living. That's a big check mark. I have a nasally high-pitched voice. I get nervous in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enough of this, Ash, enough of this. We go in with the skeleton barrel. I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna chill. I don't know, how, how do you guys feel about Graveyard Freeze? With all the poison in the meta, it's weird that Graveyard's even popular and still winning to me in Archers, right? In Gobos. I just feel like the meta on paper, should counter Graveyard? My man, did he just Inferno Tower nothing? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. You know what, if you're gonna fireball an Inferno Tower me like that, I'm just gonna Graveyard Freeze you, man. Oops. And you know what? Just to fake you out, just to fake you out, to pretend that I'm worse than I am, I'm also going to miss the Executioner on the Freeze. It's a kind of a next level move that you guys might want to try. Doing a dumb move to start things out. Get them thinking that, oh man, it's going to be an easy matchup. I'm just joking. I misclicked. I suck. Alright, here we go. But I do have my Nerd card. Can't argue there with me. 
All right, so he's gonna Inferno Tower here. The fact that he used his or wasted his arrows uh, on my <laughs> my graveyard sans freeze. Maybe he had pre-placed them, thinking I wasn't gonna whiff the freeze. <laughs> Dude, it's not like Freeze has a small radius. It's not like missing a rocket. It's just like, it's a big spell. <laughs> and my, I'm just like, yep, boop. That's what happens when you get old. You suck at Clash Royale, guys. It's going to happen to you guys someday, too. Don't worry. You know what? Let's freeze it again. <laughs> it worked out so well for us the first time, right? No. I'm going to go ahead and arrow this junk. This baloney. And then we're just gonna split so. And I still haven't even seen this dude's win condition. Have I? Aside from a lot of Inferno Towers, what does my man have here? I don't know, man. Uh Well, I guess in this situation we're just gonna chill here with uh with a good old mighty miner in the back and go archers once that locks on. Have the Mighty Miner tank for whatchamacallit and I don't know, let's let's freeze and arrow and he's gonna arrow and we're not even gonna use the Mighty Miner ability. We don't even need to. Man, thank God that guy. No offense, Diego from the nerd neighborhood. I love you and I love your clan. But thank God that you were slightly worse than me because I played like crap all of that match. All right, here we go on the next one. It's going to be Royal Giant and the Monk. Royal Giant and the Monk. This deck was actually in last month's uh, top deck, so it's still hanging on to the top five. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Let's try to play a little bit better against Mark than we have so far for the two viewers that are still tuned in. Mark from Citrus Clash. All right, what do we got here? Well, we got a fisherman. That's what we got. Let's get a little King Tower activation, please. Boom. Good way to start the match. Let's go ahead and split some archers and see what a man has up his sleeve. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, bro. Oof. He hit me with the, the everything. <laughs> the rage. I mean, come on, bro. I'm just gonna, he has no Valkyrie in hand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Monk ability and hope for the best, and you know what? We're gonna kill that Dark Goblin, and we get a lot of damage in the right-hand lane, too, and we're gonna get all these little Gobbos to the tower as well. Dude, we might get the tower down! <laughs> you know what, guys? Remind me to push a little bit more before these videos. I did play a bunch of matches, and honestly, I lost some along the way in preparation for today's video, but, uh... You know, wasn't quite ready for the old, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, who knows? He might still beat me. You know, I don't want to talk too soon, right? You never know when someone's spamming all this crud at you, you know? Crazier things have happened. I'm sure we've all been there, right? Where you're just like, dude, what is this noob doing just spamming me? And next thing you know, you're like, okay, let's forget that match ever happened. All right. So, what is he gonna do? Nothing. Cool. It's just Royal Giant in the back. When in doubt, Royal Giant in the back. Go ahead and Rage, Hog, Valkyrie, Scar me me. Do it. Do it now. What are you waiting for? Kill me. I'm here. I'll do it. That's my awful, awful Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Uh, I know you guys were excited about it. We're waiting for it. Getting a lot of requests. I'm here. Do it now. Kill me. I'm here. <laughs> it's pretty bad, huh? All right. He's going to Valkyrie, and I am going to Goblins right into the Valkyrie. That's not good. Let's just go in with another Royal Giant. Try to greedily take that tower with a double RG. Whenever you can double RG, you gotta try it out, right? All right, so we have a lot of time left on the clock. Let's try to put this guy out of his misery, please. Put you guys out of your misery. Oh, gosh. I'm not gonna be able to save the tower, I don't think, here. So now we just gotta wait 30 seconds, basically. All right. I don't know if I needed that. Okay, that works out. Just gonna go ahead and Royal Giant over here. Fisherman's gonna be doing his thing down there. We're gonna go ahead and support with a little bit of archers. I'm not gonna build three crown this guy with eight seconds, seven, six seconds on the clock, but it's a victory and we'll take it. We'll take the wins, the easy and the hard here. Let's go ahead and give my man a good game. 
move on to deck number two. This is the second highest win percentage inside all of Clash Royale here, guys. And here it is. Whoa. Lava Miner with the Skelly King. Skelly Drags. And if you needed more Skellies in your life, the Tombstone. Now we can birth Skellies in the arena. Tons of them. All right. I am not... Lava's not necessarily my forte. I say that. Maybe you guys have a deck like this too. But yet, I have my highest CRL challenge win total off of... Why am I talking one word at a time? Off of Lava Hound. 17 wins. Let's get Skeleton King in there. I don't want to take a Valkyrie hit to the face. All right, so... uh. I can't say that was our ideal starting uh, move. <laughs> Unable to charge up my man, the uh, Skeleton King. He's going to get a whack or two against the tower. That's cool, though. Hey, make it almost three whacks. Almost three whacks. Sounds good. Well, you know what, guys? What do you think he's going to do? Come at me with everything he's got? Probably, right? Guess I'm just going to take some Valkyrie damage. He has Hog in hand. Didn't feel like it was going to be a wise move to go in with the, uh, the whatchamacallit there. Hate to do it, but I'm not going to lose my tower, that's for sure. So I'm going to have to go in with the defensive miner here. And this is really a double elixir deck, if you ask me. Uh, primarily because of the skeleton king. Okay, nice arrows. He's going to get the tower down. No, he's not. But, he's gonna get some nice damage, right? Alright, so he has Magic Archer. I just wanna see what he's gonna do here. Okay, try to... Try to sneak these guys in. To support that. I need to get this Miner. He has arrows, though. And he has them in hand, doesn't he? We get some pretty decent damage, but I'm still not feeling good about this one, guys. I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's block that and go there. He was on it, man. That was a really nice uh, magic archer there. We'll give him the well played. It's going to take my tower down. And I don't know if I have... Maybe not tower down, just... Uh, now it's going to be. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, we have one shot here, guys. It's not over yet. Close to, but not over yet. Try to reroute that card, aka Magic Archer. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna arrow here. I'm just gonna go in. Now I can arrow. Need to go with the miner and get something going on here. Okay. That's gonna be enough to get that tower down. The question is, is can we recover a little bit here? He has to go with the magic archer in the back. It's a good time to go ahead and get a tombstone down. Leaving him the open lane to waste his win condition. Not waste, but use his win condition. While I mount up for a... I'm going to go high with some skeleton drag. Start DPSing this stuff down. I'm going to go with this as well. This being a phoenix. Get a lot of DPS on the board right now. I'm going to go right in with the... I think we got him. I think we're going to get him, guys. Well, I know we got him now. <laughs> And I gotta use the- Use the ability, Ash! Use the ability! Alright, alright. Hey! Rebby, we gotcha. We gotcha. I didn't have faith in myself for a minute there. Did you guys have faith in me? The one viewer left, did you? My best viewer, did you have faith in me? Thank you. Alright, here we go. Deck number one right now, guys, in the game. I can't believe it is Three Musketeers, my old school favorite archetype in the game. This is where I started. This is where I, you know, I started playing Three Musky way back in the day. That was my favorite card back when there were 10 Elixir, man. And here I am again, full circle. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. I've been drinking this. This is not sponsored. I've been drinking this ISO Pure. Way pro <laughs> it's, it's a green screen. Sorry, guys. It's blue. It's, it's not clear, I promise. Uh, the bad news is it's expensive. I think it's like $6 a thing. Good news is it's really, uh, really good. Really good. No calories and how many grams of protein in this? 40 grams of protein, so we'll take it. Let's go ahead and heal the little bandit up there. 
so she can live to fight another day. We're going to go ahead and just pump up the jam. And he's going to... Oh, yeah? That's not going to work out for you, man. We're going to go ahead and goblin barrel that... Uh, or bar barrel that goblin barrel. There we go. Do you think he has a big spell? That's the question. Boop. Yo, the lead barbs at the bridge? Never fails. <laughs> okay, so it always fails, but you know. Uh, why did we do that? It was a rhetorical question. We did that because we want to get back to another... Uh, we want to get back to another pump. ASAP. So now we can pump up the jam right here. And let's see if my man wants to do that little thing that he does again. Where he, uh... Where he sends in the goblin barrel. We're just gonna leave barbs here. Go ahead and get that heal spirit down as well. Let's get a bandit down as well. He doesn't know, uh... I don't think he has much to tank in his hand right now. And we have a couple pumps down. And that's the name of the game. We can win without even playing our three musketeers. Hopefully we pump up again. And y y where he went wrong was obviously... You don't pressure... At least in my opinion, right? You don't really pressure a uh, bridge like that when there's a two-pump advantage. You know? The way that he did it there with the, the whatchamacallums. I don't know. Is that heal spirit going to prevent one of their contacts? Yeah. Okay. It's been a while. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's been a while since I played Heal Spirit. Uh, let me just do this and this. And I'm going to send a bandit, try to redirect a little bit here. Nah. Eh, whatever. Those, uh, that was a misclick. <laughs> the Elite Barbarians. It's an OP new strategy where you spam them in the back, guys. But luckily, we're doing pretty dang good here. Got nothing big to worry about. We're just going to come in with the three muskies. Hope we can kill that princess. And boom, we do! Let's go ahead and send in the bandit one two three combo here we're also going to go with a barbell predicting the gobos or the goblin gang that doesn't come now it does can we get the victory here let's spam the elite barbarians like we've never spammed them before guys let's do this with only uh four three two one and oh that bandit was an inch away from the tower all right guys thank you so much for watching till the end of the video i really appreciate you all and as always take care guys oh by the way all the deck links will be in the uh, the show notes below take care guys